Well, Georgia landed the number one prospect in the 2024 class in Dylan Rayola. And we need to talk about it. But if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And by doing so, it greatly helps out my channel. And it helps me grow as a content creator. Well, the Georgia Bulldogs was able to land the number one quarterback and the number one prospect overall in the 2024 recruiting class. And Dylan Riola, uh, this is a great quarterback, and this is a huge pickup for the Georgia Bulldogs. Um, not only is he talented, you know, at the quarterback position, but uh, he's going to potentially bring some talented uh, wide receivers, you know, to the Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, not saying Georgia Bulldogs didn't have, you know, elite receivers. They had some great guys, uh, Nicole Hartman, Hartman um, Blaylock, you know, a lot of good wide receivers. But, uh, man, this is a huge pickup for the Georgia Bulldogs. And I'm just read off his stats and just show you how big of a, a commitment this is. First of all, you know, uh, he has family that went to Nebraska. And Nebraska is one of the schools that was, you know, heavily trying to recruit him to come to their school. Uh, he picked, you know, uh, the Georgia Bulldogs over the USC Trojans as well, you know. We all know Lincoln Riley loves quarterbacks and uh, elite quarterbacks. And, uh, this is a huge step up for Georgia, man. Um, not saying Georgia never had, you know, elite quarterbacks, but uh, and Dylan is really, really good. Um, he already has the build. You know, he has a good size. I think he's 6'3", if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's 6'3", 228 pounds. Already got good size for a quarterback. Um, very, very elite. You know, got great arm strength, uh, can make all the necessary throws. Um, his complete percentage is like 65%, really, really good. Um, he's more of a pocket passer, but uh, he's shown the ability that he can be a functional, uh, functional athlete. Um, he can create second chances as well. Um, very, very good quarterback. Uh, you know, plus uh, he's friends with – you know, Matthew Stafford, you know, he's been talking to him, and we all know uh, how Matthew Stafford, you know, what he's done for the Georgia Bulldogs. And, um, you know, he's going to learn on him. And then, plus, um, he has some coaches that, you know, that he coached on as well. You know, John, a former NFL quarterback, John Kitten, who was a high school coach at, you know, Burleson High School in Texas. Uh, so he has that connection there. You know, with the people uh, at Georgia, Mike Bobo, coach Matthew Stafford, and uh, Mike Bobo is going to be his offensive coordinator. So, I mean, uh, from what I was reading, he, he always had his eye on Georgia, even though when he committed to Ohio State, uh, he still was looking at Georgia. Um, and this is a huge pickup for the Georgia Bulldogs. Um, they stood in there. Uh, Kirby Smart has done a phenomenal job with the recruiting and a uh, huge pickup for the Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, we all know in the past, you know, it's uh, funny, you know, Georgia had uh, Justin Fields, you know, who uh, was committed to the Georgia Bulldogs, but uh, eventually going to the Ohio State Buckeyes. And now you have uh, Dylan Raiola, who was committed to the Buckeyes and decided to come to Georgia Bulldogs. So uh, it all remains to be seen, you know, uh, how everything's going to turn out with, you know, Dylan Raiola. But uh, if he sticks, boy, look out. Georgia is going to be a problem. They just won two back-to-back -back championships. And to land a guy like Dylan Raiola, and if he can uh, be the guy for them, Georgia's going to be a problem. Georgia's already a problem now but uh, with their success. But uh, adding a guy like Dylan Raiola, he can make that team that much scarier, you know. Um he mentioned, you know, one of the reasons why he went to come to Georgia because of their success that they're having. And he said that, you know, uh, Kirby Smart's trying to make Georgia to Alabama, and he feels like a shift is going on there. Uh, I wouldn't say that too too quickly. Uh, Nick Saban is still, in my opinion, the best coach in college football. You know, it, it only remains to be seen. We have to uh, see what happens. But uh, Georgia's definitely on the top right now, and they definitely – doing a phenomenal job and, and got a high chance of repeating, uh, especially the way his schedule sets up. But a uh, huge pickup for the Georgia Bulldogs. And this guy, Dylan Raiola, has the potential to make Georgia a continuous threat from here on out. Uh, they're on the top right now. You um, know, 
they're currently the kings and um they're doing a phenomenal job at it so i, I take my hats off to the george bulldogs uh, they're doing what they're supposed to do and um man they got a game changer with dylan Raiola. but uh, what do you guys think about this you know leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section and once again guys if you haven't please like share and subscribe to the channel and i'll definitely be back with more cost for content thanks guys and have a great day Thank you.